told you that Chris Cuomo of uh, CNN, whom I watched, so you don't have to, said that Donald Trump called the coronavirus a hoax. You're a great writer, but even you couldn't have imagined what Trump would do in calling a pandemic a hoax. We always say the fact is stranger than fiction. If people had written up what he was about and how he acted and tried to get someone like you to sell it. Okay, so he's interviewing the screenwriter of the movie Contagion. And Chris Cuomo, as you just now heard, reiterated that Donald Trump referred to the coronavirus as a hoax. Now, I do something every morning for 59 seconds or less. It's called Robe Rage, where in my robe I rant. And yesterday I did one about Chris Cuomo making this assertion. And I pointed out that CNN's own fact checker in September of last year looked at whether or not Trump referred to the coronavirus pandemic as a hoax. And CNN said he did not. He specifically was talking about how Democrats are characterizing his handling of the pandemic. That's what he called a hoax, said CNN. Not me, CNN. So I did a robe rage where I ripped Chris Cuomo for ignoring his own channel. And I ended it by saying, Chris, don't call me Fredo Cuomo. Apparently doesn't watch CNN either. Now, I used to have a relationship with him. Uh, on Twitter, where he would sometimes send me something by direct message, and I would send him things by direct message. But that stopped several years ago when he said something that was bonehead, and I checked him. He said something else that was bonehead, and I checked him. And then after that, you're just uh, you're just an a-hole, Larry. I'm not sure he said it that way, and that was that. By the way, the same thing happened with Jake Tapper of CNN, with whom I had a uh, Twitter direct message kind of relationship. He said something. I checked him. He said something. I checked him. I think it was him referring to illegal aliens as undocumented. And I said, there's no such thing in the legal code as undocumented. Uh, that is propaganda. You're trying to influence how people see this issue. And all of a sudden, that was it. <laughs> Donna Brazil, believe it or not, had a relationship with Donna Brazil on Twitter where we direct message each other. She said something stupid. I checked her. She said something stupid. I checked her. She ended the relationship. So Cuomo follows me on Twitter, and after I posted that uh, Instagram message, this is what he wrote, and I'm quoting. Does it bother you to unfairly attack me when I never do that to you? Just for a little buzz? When you and I treat each other respectfully, and then you pretend to disrespect me? I'm not pretending, dude. I do disrespect you. I interjected that just now. He continued, you better take more of that fugazi pain medication to deal with the injury to your soul. I assume he's referring to relief factor. So I wrote him back. I said, yeah, but was I wrong? You said Trump called the coronavirus a hoax. He didn't. That assertion was refuted by your own channel, yet you said it again. I'm happy to come on your show and discuss it. I'm happy to have you come on mine. I've extended that offer to you before, but you've never taken me up on it. I don't blame you. Why does the baloney avoid the grinder? And, of course, that got to him because he's a little slow, snowflake. Here's how he responded. Oh, yes, he did, meaning Trump did call the coronavirus a hoax. He said there would be a dozen cases. It would magically disappear that it was just a bad flu. Notice how he changed the subject. The subject is whether or not Trump called the coronavirus a hoax, as CNN said he did not. And this guy says, oh, yes, he did, which means he's not believing CNN. Well, that makes two of us, dude. Oh, yes, he did. He said there would be a dozen cases. It would magically disappear that it was just the bad flu. And, of course, that's not the issue. And regarding my invitation to come on his program, here's to come on mine. Here's what he said, and I'm quoting. You don't deserve the platform. You defend a liar and a man who has willingly motivated hate of people like you, whatever that means. No, no, not mere political posers have become, but black people. Go sell more snake oil, he said. So I wrote back, of course you'd say that. Never mind the platform you gave Hillary for four years who referred to the 2016 election as stolen and President Trump as illegitimate. 67% of Democrats, according to a YouGov poll, falsely believed that the Russians changed vote tallies despite zero evidence they did so. A greater percentage of Democrats, 78%, according to Gallup, believe the 2016 election was changed by, by the Russians than the 76% of Republicans who believe in widespread voter fraud. Yet CNN continued to give Hillary a platform and never accused her of promoting the big lie. Hillary joined the Jill Stein lawsuit. Hillary supporters hit the streets 
when Trump won and on inauguration day. Why does a baloney avoid the grinder? I'm Larry Elder. <laughs>